creepy kitties! This is your freaky friend Aiden, and we are doing the final campaign update for Scapula, the greatest freak show of all. If you're watching this video, chances are you've already backed the campaign. If not, Time is running out, so jump right in if you can. This Tuesday, May 31st at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, the campaign finally comes to an end. If you want to see how we're doing, please once again jump over to that link below and wish us luck. So over the last few weeks, we've had a lot of fun talking about making comics, making monsters, making caricatures. Well, today we're going to talk a bit about what the campaign is all about, and that is our old buddy Scapula. We're going to be talking a little about where he began, where he's ending, and what exactly you guys are going to see when you back this campaign. So the tale of Scapula begins eons and eons ago, in a prehistoric time called 2007. An evolving young artist climbed down from the trees to try and start a career in comic books. Using crude tools and opposable thumbs, he crafted a handmade zine telling the first story of Scapula, the world's worst villain. It was submitted to comics publishers, who weren't all that interested. So he continued self publishing the series on his own. Flash forward ahead to the far, far future of 2022, and an older but wiser artist rediscovered this ancient artifact just in time for the series' 15th anniversary this scene right here. It's funny because I have avoided looking at this thing for so many years because it's a lot like looking back at your old high school photo with the braces and the zits and the stupid haircut. <laughs> Although crude and experimental, the first zine still laid the groundwork for what was yet to come. Scapula's struggle in the criminal underworld and desire to be respected, his assembling a gang of weirdos and monsters to join in his fight, and of course the first of many, many disastrous romantic relationships. So maybe the art and writing was pretty crappy, but it was the beginning, and looking back at it now, all these years later, still kind of crappy, but I have grown to love it. That zine laid the groundwork for 15 years of comics, 9 books, and however many stories, I've lost count, there were so many, all of it culminating into a final tale, the greatest freak show of all. Over the past few weeks, I've been posting pages from the first chapter of the book where we've seen Scapula attempt the greatest supervillain scheme of his career and having it blown up in his face. It's yet another disaster after a lifetime of so many, but now, he's getting old. Can he keep struggling to prove his worth? Will he be able to keep his gang of monsters together? How long will he be haunted by the failures of his past? And what will happen when at long last he faces his darkest enemy? And there you have it, folks. The grand finale is coming your way, and it's all thanks to your generosity. Let us take a look at our most recent backers, and there have been some extremely generous ones this week, so thank you so very much, all of you, for helping to make this last book happen. I can't, I really can't show my gratitude enough. The end is near in just a couple of days, folks, so keep on pledging, keep on sharing this campaign, and thank you all so very much for helping out me, helping out Scapula and the monsters, and helping me share my story with all of you. I'll see you guys at the end. Bye-bye. Am I on? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a blooper. Stop the camera. <laughs>